Hello again, everybody. We are back with Scribble Knots Unlimited, creating characters from Willy's Wonderland. You saw it on screen right there. It's going to be Artie the Alligator today. That was the next most requested one here in the, I call it the texture library, if you want to call it. I mean, it's just that first page. There's this like kind of wavy little pattern or whatever. We can put that on our source object's uh, torso piece, which was a judge, of course. The source object, if you're new to Scribble Knots Unlimited, it's actually often not that we want it to be what exactly our character is like let's say your character is a boy or a monster or something like that you don't always just use boy or monster in our case a judge we're not intending Artie to be a judge or anything like that we did put down leg as well as the back foot of the hydra right there for the feet and so we've kind of made the legs now for our Artie alligator so let's go with claws after the bodybuilder back arm piece this can start making the arms for Artie right here make sure of course they're always uh, attached to the grid that they should be attached to, you know, there is a command to turn on the green grids and see where they all go and all the different moving pieces of your creation. And so, with all that, we did move that, uh, we, I guess we'll call it, uh, to our left, but it's Artie's right leg. We did move that kind of behind the torso, otherwise it would have been in front. Wouldn't have looked as good. This kind of actually can make us a lot more accurate. Jax just went down right there, as well as the body piece of the bat, you know, an animal, the bat, obviously, not the sports. Uh, and so here we got the buttons right now. We created some some of those buttons are colored them as well as the feet you can see and uh, now we're putting on some more accessories for this is we're trying to make it look bloody so this is kind of going to be like Artie after an attack you know so we're going to have all the blood going to be very ominous looking stitch we place that down because actually it fits really well with the judge having something kind of near the chest right there it's like the judge's handkerchief or whatever you want to call that that's on the judge I don't know but stitch on both arms and so that's actually kind of accurate to what Artie's uh, jacket looks like that coat, that artist's coat, you know? And so we'll go with Ivory. That's going to start off the tail right here that we got going down. Uh, that should be attached to the body, the torso object. So same with these tiger shark dorsal fins right here. So there we go. We're getting a lot of them. Uh, we'll do three, I think, are visible right there. Perfect, man. We're obviously going to name this Artie, but we're going to go into the properties editor where you can edit health and other things that are usually behind the scenes about your character. Some things visible of course and this is where in this series we like to read background information and fun facts about all the characters that we create so let's do this today we've made Artie the alligator notice it's spelled a-r-t-y instead of a-r-t-i-e it's like it's artsy art okay but of course this is the name of one of the many animatronics from willy's wonderland seems like a lot of people responded well to our last creation on this channel where we made willy weasel so now we've got the next most requested animatronic from the movie for sure in the comments section from you guys. Oh wait, you haven't seen us create Willy? Well, no worries. We'll have links everywhere that can link you to it. Maybe an end screen or something as well. But yes, I think Artie is one of the few animatronics that we don't hear speaking or singing or just anything in the movie like that, right? Someone can confirm or deny that with me here. And thanks. Now, if you want Artie to like eat somebody, I know that there's a scene, I guess, spoiler alert, <laughs> most of you guys have seen this or at least seen the scene maybe on YouTube. I looked it up in the clips, so that's how I know. But on YouTube, he uh, gives this dude a bite very deadly. We kind of set that up to be eat. So Artie, this, this Artie creation that we're doing is going to eat human characters. That does, I think, exempt you as the player. But anyway, uh, head as the source object. Obviously, we're going to be creating the head now. You saw that fossil. That was the jaw parts. You want to do the full fossil, not the partial one. And those jaw parts, we've, of course, got the paint on there to be red for the bloody spots and everything, as well as that oil spill that's down kind of on the bottom chin area you could call it dart fish we're taking that dorsal fin after we did golf ball as well as a road hump and spheres behind that all of this stuff can make up the eyes we want there to sort of be that almost eight shape and I did actually try the number eight first uh, so you could do that with one stamp but it's gonna look a little bit different the eyes aren't gonna be spaced out far enough apart in my opinion if we were to go with eight and so you could just type in beret but it's actually gonna be a little bit too tall in my opinion and oftentimes again you're not just always gonna be it's like sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. Just type in exactly what the piece is that you are looking for. Like eye for an eye, you know, or nose for a nose. In fact, I'd say more often than not, we do the opposite. You know, we, we make it out of some other things like the dagger tooth body and the imp back arm piece for the beret overall. But anyway, when you make a head and a body separately, it's to get over the stamp limit in Scribble Knots Unlimited. And you do want to go in the properties editor on your head object to the equipment tab and fill in the circle that says can be worn on the face like glasses 
So you'll notice that we've got the head right here. We can put it into the hands of our arty object in Scribblenauts Unlimited, and obviously it's uh, sized differently, and it's not in the right spot. So I pretty much knew that was going to happen. It happens almost every time. So you want to turn on those green grids right here, just like I'm doing. Move the head grid where the head would go. So just move that up wherever it needs to go. Basically, if it's too low or too high, in this case, of course, it needs to be higher up. So we did that, made a few adjustments, increased and decreased sizes as we need so that the head is really the right size that it needs to be. So let's see, I'm going to remove the still, uh, oh my god, what, <laughs> dude, oh my gosh, okay, so apparently Vanny is sourced as some kind of human, there you go, guys, Vanny is a human, see, look, it's supposed to work like this, you know, the teen gets eaten, I didn't know that he was going to go off and eat Vanny, already ate Vanny, what is up with that, you guys, Vanny, of course, teased from FNAF, security breach, I cannot believe that happened, I was not expecting it, but it's okay, and hilarious, click an end screen on screen, why not, and I'll catch you guys on the next vid, and thanks for viewing. Oh, bitch, I'm a